Right, so this uh, video basically comes with a warning. We're going to be spending all of our money and in this financial time people might feel triggered by that and, and quite upset. So um, if so, don't watch. Um, but we're, we're looking for an investment. We've given up on our um, idea of um, our oak framed house that we were planning to build. Um, material costs and lots of other reasons for that. And we've, we want to invest and leave something for our children. And uh, we'll be coming back to why we're doing that um, at some point. Um, but for now, uh, enjoy the video. And uh, this is the story of the decision we made. Okay, so we've just been to Scotch Corner, had some breakfast, and now we're going to head on. Grace is kitted out with her friends. 
Are you ready to go to Scotland? Scotland! Yeah! Yeah! Scotland! Oh no. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So we've made it, it's over six hours travel and apparently this whole woodland is about 70 odd acres, 71 acres, so it's been broken into a, a number of plots. So we're going to have a look. pictures were a bit of a, a, a letdown. They showed areas where there wasn't so much rhododendron and um, this is uh, a good, I'd say a good 80% rhododendron. You'd struggle to find a square metre where there wasn't, apart from the, tr the track in, where there wasn't actually a bit that isn't actually rhododendron. This needs someone with a chipper and the gear to, to really tackle it because it, there's miles of it. But the other problem is that the people around this site, I doubt are all going to be tree surgeons and they've all got rhododendron problem. So whatever I do, it's still going to keep spreading in and this is what is a shame. You know, there's absolutely masses of it. But, you know, without actually getting in there, you can't really do that with a buggy. Switch to the sling. So it's been a really fraught day today. We have come up to uh, Loch Lomond area from South Lincolnshire with our two children under the age of two. Uh, it took six and a half, seven hours. Um, it was busy. Um, not so much on the roads, just for us with changing, stopping to change nappies and make sure children are okay and children have fed the right things. And it was just, it was all a bit hectic. Um, we then went and found the woodland straight away and um, we spent a good few hours there looking round. Having stopped and looked at the woodland today, we decided we would come and have a little bit of an outing this evening and check out the local area. So here we are at Loch Lomond. Um, it's quite late, it's about half past eight at night and Grace is already asleep, as you can see. <laughs> but Albie's not, so Fraser's just taken him out to show him the lock. Is it me?
So I'm just walking down to the woodland today to have another look. I'm just leaving the kids and Rachel uh, there for a minute to give me a head start because otherwise you can't really do anything, you can't think, you can't look at boundaries and all sorts. So um, basically this is a 70 odd acre wood that's been broken into seven parts. I think it was seven parts, might be slightly more. Um, one of the little woodlands we're looking at is only four acres so some of the other owners have very large acreages but um, with the right to roam I, you don't actually need that much you just need a base to come to and you've got Loch Lomond on your doorstep so this is the track leading down it's a long track so, so this is the bit we're looking at so it's right over there is another boundary this is the edge of the, the track so it's all this through here that is just so dense. You can lose yourself so easy in here that without the boundary post that actually, you know, if, if the boundary post were to be moved, you wouldn't have a clue because um, it all looks the same. Right, this piece of land is like so rich in biodiversity. It's got so many ferns and different mosses that I've never seen before. You just don't get back home. Such thick moss. Pulled a bit out off a stump the day. It was a foot, a foot of moss. The floor's just littered with various things. We've got this, um, I think it's called wood sorrel, but I don't know. I have to check it in a book. And I wanted this on the land, but I didn't know where to get it from. And it looks like clover, but it isn't. It uh, tastes like apple peel and is edible. And so there's all these heathers and ferns, and it's just completely wild. It's wonderful. But it leads a little bit of taming because um, it is a bit of a job to walk around in here. There's water running through the land here. And they're calling it water pools. You can't see it in there. There's so much moss and stuff in the way and trees. So you see it's banked up, banked up. So we won't actually be cutting this away to produce another stream. We're just clearing what is obviously already there but just totally blocked up. I'm trying to work out how much time could spend in here cutting back and sorting out. I've said four weeks um, over four years so just do a week a year because I can't just leave my family and so I'm buggering off to the woods and leave Rachel with two kids. The whole idea is that you keep your family and you um, and you do these things together. Here's where the water is travelling through the middle of the land. I'd say it's the middle of the land, I can't really tell from here but this body of water runs all the way, pretty much, up, all the way through. There's bits you can see and then there's bits where it's mossed over and uh, grassed over and bits of tree have landed in there when they've clear felled it and all sorts. Clear this out, there's an awful lot of water and it's well banked up in places. You know, I would plant stuff along this bank, keep some stuff, plant some new stuff, plant some willow, Plant some alder, things that like that, wet ground along this bank. So I follow this path all the way up. So path this, follow this stream up, potential stream up here without falling in it. it. Goes all the way through. I mean, I could walk the whole lot. I'm trying to film it through. This is difficult. At the moment it looks like a bit of a breeding ground for probably gnats and things. The midge. Runs all the way up through here. Absolutely loads of it. All the way through these trees. Very nice trees. duck and dive under everything. It'd be nice to be able to walk alongside this to get and clear it out a bit. I mean there's masses to clear out. I was thinking I was going to start tackling it with a spade and things and I could clear a lot with that. Runs all the way up here. So we're losing it a bit now. So we get higher up the ground but there it is again there's water in there. So there's, it is in there. And then through here we've got a bundled area where it's high ground. 
and this would be fantastic to put something on top of because you're up so much higher you'll be able to look down over your potential stream or pools of water and look at come all the way up here all up here there's a great big area that you can't even see because it's road dangerous but it's much higher with big trees up here what an area it could really be and luckily we've got the gear we can chip it anything that's a log can get piled up and used as an edge we've got no use for the wood fuel up here unfortunately because um, we haven't got anything to burn it up here maybe we could keep some undercover for if we were busy and have a fire but you've got to keep birch dry because it, it does uh, rot off pretty quick right i better go and find the family now so it was all so peaceful and then grace arrived so we've just spoken to the people from the website where we found the land and we have confirmed with them that we officially want to buy it so They've said it's as good as ours. Now we need to get solicitors sorted and... A Scottish solicitor. A Scottish solicitor sorted. Um, and things are a little bit different when it comes to buying land in Scotland um, than in England. We've read about it, but we just need to read it through again, double check on it, get all our funds in the right place. And yeah, we're gonna own some woodland in Scotland. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've got all of that sorted, we have driven to Loch Lomond. Uh, we've parked up, we've found a really beautiful place and we are going to um, take the children for a walk, um, go and take in some scenery and just, yeah, celebrate. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding light The roads that they open are many It's okay, it's okay. Oh dear. Oh, that's cold. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> 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 